Hi, this is Kimmy from Scrap Therapy. Hey, I'm just absolutely loving the new Marion Smith Design Color Lab. All of these amazing pigments and glitters come in the starter kit. So you get these five colors of pigments here, the magenta, the cyan, the yellow, the red, and the black. And then you also get three of the glitters, the gold, the purple, and the aqua. Now I've also purchased in addition this beautiful pink vintage rose, it's called, and this is one of my favorites. So I'm going to make uh, four different colors for you just to show you how easy they are to make a color. So on the instructions, if you get um, a starter kit, it has all of these recipes right here that you can follow and it is quite addictive. So I started out making about five colors, now maybe then 10 colors, and I'm up over 20 different colors and still making them. So they've got lots of different uh, colors to choose from and uh, I've been having fun even making my own colors. So I'm gonna start out by making this one right here. It's called Tornado. It's a beautiful gray and it's right here from her recipe book. So. I like to set out my colors and pigments and have a scoop beside each one. When I first got my kit, I only had one little scoop and so I had to clean it in between scooping each one of these colors and that was a bit of a pain in the butt doing that. So I'm really happy that I have all the scoops now and then I can easily mix them. So I like to open them all up and have the letter right beside the pot so that it's really quick to do some colors. So I would recommend doing, you know, um, a few pots at a time, a few sprays, just because once you get the stuff out, you might as well do a few. So I'm going to take one of her Marion Smith bottles, and I just want to say that her bottles are really awesome. They come with the sprayer. It has on the side here a lock and unlock button, so you don't need to worry about keeping the cap close by. You can just put it on lock or unlock. They're really nice, and they don't um, clog up like other bottles do. So with the instructions where it says tornado, it says two times B. So it's a full level scoop and then a half scoop. And the instructions um, for the scoops are on the front here. It tells you um, full level scoop, half a scoop, and then a speck. So with tornado, I need two full scoops of black and a half scoop of yellow. So let's take the black. My fingers are already covered in, in ink. Nice level scoop. There's one. Two. And then a half scoop of yellow. And this is actually the yellow. It looks very orange, but keep in mind it's a concentrated, uh, saturated pigment. So there's a half a scoop of yellow. Take my spray bottle top, put that on. Now this is um, a flat color in that there's no glitter in this one. So give it a good shake and then I will spray it and show you what it looks like. Oh, I've got it on lock, unlock. Ooh, ooh, that is a really nice color. <laughs> Just on my paper towel. I really love that. So that's called Tornado and uh, if I wanted to I could add some glitter to it. Now one little tip what I've been doing with mine is um, I've just found these little labels, name labels at the dollar store. I've been writing the name of the color right on it and then spraying on it and then once it's dry I can take it and stick it to the bottle. So here's an example of Aqua. And I just stuck that on there. Now, now I always know. But not only do I know the name of the color, I know what it looks like. I have uh, a sample of it. So I'm going to set that aside to dry. Ooh, I really like Tornado. So, oh, and the other thing I do, while I have it out and I've kind of got a, a mess going, I take like a butterfly or a leaf or something and I spray that as well. And then I actually have a sample board that I've started so that I can 
keep track of colors that I've done. So another um, interesting thing about Marion Smith sprays is see how on this butterfly it's really dark? I sprayed it really dark. Now over here it's quite a bit lighter when you look at the gray and it's almost like getting a couple colors in one bottle because you can spray it lightly, keep it light, or you can keep spraying it and saturate the color and make it darker. You could also spray it lightly and then this excess spray that's on your splat mat, you could dip the butterfly wings into the excess and it'll go darker and almost look like you have two colors on there and have a multi-tone butterfly. So I'm going to make another color. Now this one I found on Marion Smith's um, website and this one was called Grey. So for this recipe, it's not in the book, it's a little bit different. It is one speck of black. So there's my speck. One scoop of gold. Sorry, I'm just looking at my recipe going, what does that say? One scoop of gold. And then two scoops of blue. And this is supposed to make gray. This is an experiment. I have not made this color yet, so let's see how it turns out. Two scoops of blue. It's going to be glittery. I like that. Okay. Put our lid on here. Give it a good shake. I'm just going to grab some paper towel to spray onto. Oh, you can see the color in there. Looks quite green, not gray. Hmm. Well, let's try it out. Unlock. Actually, I'm going to fold this over. I want to be careful spraying that I don't go anywhere near my pigments, right? Oh, it is gray. That is not at all what it looks like inside the bottle. That is gorgeous. Oh, I love that. And I love the undertone of sparkle that's on there. And that's just on a paper towel. So there's the tornado. And there's the gray. Those are beautiful. It has a real kind of mauvey, bluey undertone. So there's my gray. I'm going to just spray my label right now and I'm going to take a leaf and spray that as well for my samples. Okay, beautiful. So again, that recipe was one speck of black, one scoop of gold, and two scoops of the A, which is